I'm going to show you how to download the live stream video from Facebook so we can edit it and get it ready to move to YouTube. I've logged into Facebook and I've clicked on the First Baptist Church of Salado Facebook page. Once I'm here, I'll scroll down and click the More button and go to Videos. It will take me to the Videos page where I can see the videos, but I want to go to Visit Creator Studio. I will click that button, which will launch Meta Business Suite and enable me to see the content of what I need to download. This is a much easier way of doing this. So I will click on the content here in the left menu and the screen will change to show me everything that I've posted on my live streams. Now we want to download the live stream from just this past Sunday, which in this case is July 2nd. So I'm going to click on the button with the three dots and it will bring up a menu. I want to select download SD and then it will allow me to save it as a file. Notice this file name is really cryptic and it has a bunch of numbers. I want to change it to something I can remember. So what I do is I will go 070223, which is our date service FB. I will put Facebook so I know this is a download of the Facebook service. And then I'll click Save. And you can see it will show me when it when it's done. And depending on your browser, I can click here and I can literally see there's my file. So this is the file we are going to edit before we get to YouTube. So now we are going to take the file that we downloaded from Facebook and we're going to edit it so that we can move it to YouTube. The reason we edit this is to edit out the music part of the surface so that we can get the sermon part. It's very easy. So I'm using Adobe Premiere Pro. You can use any video editing software you'd like because the concepts are still the same. You just need to translate it to your editing program. So I have the clip that I downloaded before right here. And what I'm going to do with it is edit it. And the way I need to do it is this is the video here and the audio down here. Now typically, depending on what kind of audio video program you have, you should be able to see pretty clearly that if I scan through here, you'll see the first part is our music part. And you'll usually see there's a place where there's a gap. And that's typically where the music ends and the preaching begins. So what I will do is move my cursor to there and maybe play a little bit of it so that I can see what's going on and make sure I'm in the right place. So I'm just going to push my pr button here and you can see the pastor walking up. I know I'm in the right place. So at this point, I want to cut the clip so that I can delete the first half. So in my program, I'm going to use my clipping tool to clip it. Then I'm going to select the first half. Now in my tool, I can do what's called a ripple delete, which will cut it and push everything to the front. You may or may not have this functionality. If you don't, you'll just have to move it manually. Now I'm going to scroll back through until I can see the end. And usually you can see a place in the audio where the music stops, the preaching stops and the music ends. So you can see I'm walking off. I'm going to stop it there. And at that point, I will make another cut to cut off the back half of the sermon, the service. So with my program, I will select it and then remove that. So now all I really have is the preaching portion of our Sunday service. Now what I typically do, and this isn't required, is I will put some nice effects in the beginning just to make sure it looks good on YouTube. I'm gonna extend this out a little bit. And I'm gonna take this dip to black and put it here at the beginning of the video. Then I'll move to the end of the video and put the dip to black there. What exactly does that do? Well, if I go to the beginning of the video and start it, it will give a nice black fade in. And then at the end, it will fade it to black. Now, one thing I do with my program that I would recommend is put a starting point and an ending point. So I will go to the end of my video clip, move my cursor there, get it to the end, 
and put an ending place. That way I know what I'm exporting is exactly what I want to export. So once I have that done, I'm ready to export this out to a file that we can upload to YouTube. So in this program, I will just go to Export and Media. Now, depending on your editing program, you can put whatever type of export you want to. But I typically have used a high quality 720p high definition preset. I will also change the name. To that. So whenever I click export, it will export that file. And then you have to wait however long it will take to export it. Depending on your computer and your software, it will probably take between 20 and 30 minutes just to re-render it and get it into a file format that's ready to upload to YouTube. Okay, I am now going to show you how to upload our edited video onto our YouTube channel. So as you can see right here, I'm already logged in to the YouTube channel because I have access right here. So I'm going to click on this icon up in the upper right hand corner and click upload video. I am now at the upload screen and from here I will click the select files and pick the file that I have just edited to upload. When you click open, it will automatically begin the upload. Now what we want to do is first look at the title. The title will be the actual title of the file, but we want to edit it to our standard YouTube title. Okay, I've cut and pasted in our title. Our general format is typically the date, you can see here July 2nd, 2023, then the title of the sermon in quotation marks and the scripture reference of the sermon. Now the description will automatically load if you are in the YouTube channel so you don't have to type any of that. Next we're going to upload a thumbnail so the users can see what series we're at. So I'm going to upload the thumbnail. I've pre-designed this already. And you will see a couple of things. First off, the title on the thumbnail should match the title of the video. We'll scroll down and select a playlist. This is currently the Exodus Sermon Series, and there's already a playlist ready for that. And then down here, we're going to click no, it is not made for kids. The reason we add this is to allow people to put this video into external playlists and other things, which we wouldn't be able to do if we said yes, it's made for kids. We click next. We will keep all the settings here as listed. Click next. This is just to tell us that there will be a check made on the video for any copyright. And finally, visibility. We want to make sure that public is selected. If it's not, make sure you select public. And then hit publish. At this point, it will show you that the video is uploading. It will show you there's some time left, but you can go ahead and close this window. You'll be taken to the channel content screen in the YouTube studio. And you should see the video in an uploading status right here. Do not exit your browser now because if you do, then the video will stop uploading. But what you can do while you're waiting is click the details button right here and go ahead and copy this link, which is the video link, because we're going to use it to add this video to our website. Now we're going to take that link and put it on the FBC website. So I've already gone to fbcsalado.org and I've pressed the escape button so that I can get to administration mode on the website. So once we're in this screen, you need to click on pages and that will open up this menu. And you need to scroll down to not linked and underneath there, select services. 
This will be the list of all the services that are currently posted on the website. We're going to add the newest sermon. So the first thing we want to do is come into here and click edit. This is the sermon before, but what we're going to do is copy it. So we're going to duplicate it. And what duplication does is it allows us to maintain the categories and the speaker because they're essentially the same. We're in the same sermon series and Pastor Bill is preaching. So we're going to just duplicate this entry. So as you can see right now, we have the copy of the previous sermon, but we want to make it this week's sermon. So we're going to highlight it and type in this week's sermon. I'm going to take out the quotation marks. Typically what it is, it's the sermon title and then the scripture reference. Now, as you can see, this is a couple of weeks ago, and so we need to edit that. So we're going to click on it and click the pencil button to edit the link. Now we're going to highlight this link. And I'm going to paste in the link that we copied earlier from YouTube that will be the direct link to the YouTube video. Now we've pasted in the new YouTube video, and as you can see, it is last week's, or excuse me, this Sunday's, and the correct title. So we know we have the right video. That's all we need to do at this point. For now, we can go to Save and Publish. You can see here, we now have the new sermon posted. Now, the only problem we have here is today it is July 5th, and this sermon actually happened on July 2nd. So we want to change the posting date. So we'll go to Edit and go back in. And down here in the lower right-hand corner, you will see Published. If we click on this link, it will allow us to change the day to July 2nd. Don't worry too much about the time. What's most important is the day. Once we do that, we can click Save. And now it will save under the correct date, which was last Sunday. Now, if you want to check it, you can close out of this screen, open a new browser, go to FBC Salado, go to Worship Services, click on that, and now you will see this week's sermon is posted. 